Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make this amazing hag of suede that only contains two main ingredients. So I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and basically instructions on how to use it as well. So before we get into it guys, thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really love and appreciate you and if you're new here, Please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family. We make lots of DIY recipes for hair growth and maintenance. So you definitely want to tune into that. Now let's hop into the video guys. So we are going to need some cloves. Now this is whole cloves that I've just grinded in my house. Um, but you can also buy cloves powder if you want to or get the whole one and ground it just like I did. Um, so essentially I'm adding about maybe a, a tablespoon of cloves now I'm going to go in with some nem powder now some of you guys have seen this before and if you're new to nem powder I'm going to tell you a bit more about the benefits of this later on um, but yeah nem powder is very very beneficial for hair growth so for today's recipe we are going to need about again one tablespoon of nem powder now just to let you know a little bit about the benefits of these two ingredients now um, cloves are really good when it comes to stimulating um, the follicles to promote healthy hair growth it increases the blood flow to scalp area guys so essentially it just brings more nutrients to your follicles and more opportunities for your hair to grow now when it comes to nem powder nem powder essentially conditions your scalp it promotes healthy hair growth it helps to seal your hair follicles it suits freeze um, it minimizes grace it reduces downdraft and it also helps to treat head lice um, so essentially after I combine these two together I just add a bit of hot water to this and stirring and I'm just going to cover this up and allow to infuse for a few hours now if you're using the whole cloves you might need to infuse it overnight but the powder you can use it a little bit quicker um, because it tends to infuse a bit faster as well so essentially after that's done we're now going to go ahead and strain this so for this you are going to need either a wig cap or a tea towel or a stocking cap or a coffee filter um, so whatever you normally use now suggest that whatever you're using has some fine holes so i'm using some paper towels for my kitchen now you know about this already guys, it has been working for me for so long and that's basically what I keep going back to. take a little bit of time to get done so guys please be patient um so essentially i was just showing you guys the um sort of debris that i had left in the uh, paper towel um so it's quite important that you do use something that's quite fine just so you can get rid of pretty much all of the powders now if you've been watching guys and you're not yet subscribed please go ahead and give us that subscribe i will really really appreciate it having you part of the family and also if you haven't liked the video yet please go ahead and give it a thumbs up um especially if you enjoy what you're watching so far now after that's done guys it is completely fine to use this on its own but I decided to use a bit of castor oil you don't have to guys you don't have to use any oil at all now I've used this spray on its own in the past and it's just as effective as without the castor oil but if you want to add castor oil just like I did here please feel free to do that now castor oil essentially just helps to thicken the hair and essentially um, helps with sort of moisture as well so I add about maybe one teaspoon of that and I'm just stirring then I'm going to transfer this to my um, spray bottle so that it's easier for me to use and that's kind of pretty much it now this can store in your fridge 
for up to two weeks or even even three weeks really depending on the temperature of your fridge so it stores really well now i've made batches in the past and decided to freeze it and it's so much easier guys like literally you can just take it out of your freezer and allow it to defrost and then you're ready to use so really really good and it saves you a lot of time as well i just thought i'll mention it just in case you may be wondering um, how long you can keep this for now in this part of the video i'm going to share with you how to use it now currently uh, i'm wearing braids um this is just my hair that i've just braided randomly nothing too fancy but it was just to give my hair a bit of a break um so essentially i'm just going to be sort of moisturizing my hair with this now this is very very easy to use you can use it in whatever state your hair is in so it could be braided or twisted or conroed or even like in the open um so whatever state your hair is in is fine to use it so essentially we'll use it the same way you can spray that in your hair making sure that you know it touches your scalp and every single bit of your hair just like you will later on see now i would suggest that you leave this in your hair guys now you can also wash it out if you perhaps don't like the smell um, you can certainly wash it out after you left it in your hair for about two to three hours but i would normally use it as a leave-in spray or sort of leave-in conditioner so i'm going to wash my hair until um when it's like my wash day essentially um so essentially i'm just working that through my scalp i'm massaging it a bit as well just to make sure that you know it gets kind of distributed um evenly essentially um so yeah Once I've done that, I'm also going to spray my ends. Don't forget your ends, guys, because it also needs moisture. Now, moisturized hair is so important because it's prevented from breaking, essentially. Now, you have to bear in mind, our hair grows every single day. We should have about half an inch worth of growth every single month. So if you are retaining this length um, constantly, over time, you will definitely see that your hair has grown a lot so if it's not breaking as much as it's growing you will definitely see length retention um, over time so it's all about moisture essentially so after i finish that guys i'm just massaging my scalp again and then i will be using um one kind of oil essentially just to seal the moisture in my hair um so i suggest that you do the same or you can use a butter you know you can use shea butter or maybe a butter that you made at home yourself or anything that you you have available really to seal the moisture now seeing the moisture is quite important um, because it just uh, allows your hair to be moisturized for a longer period of time so in this i will be using one of my diy oils i have shared this with you guys already um, if you haven't seen the video i will link it in my description box so yeah do feel free to check that out so i'm just going to work this through my scalp again uh, the rest of my hair including the ends just to make sure that you know I uh, still in the moisture as much as I can essentially um, and that's kind of pretty much it I'm just going to leave this in my hair like I said until wash day now in case you're wondering how many times a week you should be using this I would say clay just depends on your hair guys so if you are someone that your hair gets dry a lot then I'll suggest you use a little bit more often um, I would normally Kind of spray my hair twice a week um but you may need to do that a bit longer like a bit more than i currently am doing uh, especially if your hair is has a tendency um to get dry really quickly now you may also need to use maybe like um a creamy leave-in conditioner in addition to this spray uh, depending again on your on your hair type or or sort of porosity and all of that good stuff so yeah, this is pretty much it for me today, guys. A very simple two-ingredient um, uh, hairspray that is very easy to make. And like I said, you can make a lot of this and also store, like freeze, and then use in the future. So yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, guys, please give it a thumbs up. 
also subscribe to channel guys if you're not already and leave me a comment i do read them all and i'll try my best to answer them as well and i'll catch you in my next one bye